Hi, I'm Andrew from Ether Automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to have more than five lookup fields in Zoho CRM on a record or a record type. So I can start by sharing my screen. Hopefully, I'm sharing the right screen. Otherwise, this will be a short. Okay, so right now you should be able to see my screen. And uh, you can see I've run into the problem of having um, uh, no more lookups. It says the maximum amount five lookups can be created. I also have the maximum amount of multi select lookups. And so I can't add any more. You see, I, I've, for some reason, I want um, uh, individual lookup fields for the solution module. Um, and I'd like to have more than that. And so if I go to an account, you'll see that uh, here are all my solutions and I, I want more than this. So how do we do that? So the first thing to know um, is you can't actually add more lookup fields. You can, however, add a section that behaves like a lookup field. So what does that mean? Well, all the lookup field is, is I can select this test solution, right? And I can click from here, right? I can go from, from the account and I can click through to this solution. Or in this case, I think it's going to a, the lead record. So um, notes, let's go up. That's all that is. Now, that essentially means that as long as we can identify which thing it is, or you know which um, solution should be in this field, and as long as I can click through to it, I can have a multi or I can have a lookup field um, that behaves the same way. So how are we going to do that? It's it's a weird workaround, but what we're going to do is we're going to have um, a single line field, right? And then we're going to um, process that single line field as if it was a lookup field, right? And that single line field, that processing for that single line field is actually going to be a related list. So let's go ahead and do that here. Let's go add a single line and we'll call this solutions five, right? I'm going to click save. Ba -ba -ba. And now I have solutions five. Now solutions five, I could type in whatever I want, right? So how then do we actually make solutions five work? What we're gonna do is we're going to add a related list and we're gonna go functions. And I'm gonna go, uh, these were from a previous, uh, previous video. Let's go to create a new function and let's call this um, related. Uh, let's go uh, related solutions to accounts. Great. Great. Now that we have this function here, what do we want to do? So uh, let's talk, talk a bit about the architecture here. So let's start by getting get the account. And then we want to say, get the specific uh, field to turn into a uh, look up field. Cool. And now we're going to say create XML to return clickable link. It's very simple. That's all it is. Um, so let's start. We'll say account equals, and let's go make the argument ID, module is accounts, field is account ID, done, save. Account equals zoho.crm.getRecord by ID. And let's go accounts and ID. Boom, very simple. <clears throat> so then we want to get the specific field. So uh, this is solution ID equals account.get and solutions five. Solutions five. Boom. 
Done. So now we have the solution ID that we want to make a uh, lookup field. So then the next thing we do is we say, um, da, 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 we want to create the XML. So let's go uh, response XML equals this. And I'm going to copy this. Copy, paste equals response XML plus. Then we want to add a few things. So let's start by adding this one, this records. Now, if you've seen my video about um, creating custom related lists, you can always look at that video to describe how this is done, right? Uh, and then in our case, let's say, um, copy paste equals, uh, row, row no equals slash uh, we want to go one zero uh, slash this bracket. So row equals number zero. And then we want to say, we're going to now make a URL to redirect to equals. Um, and in this case, we are going to go to solutions. I haven't created a solution. So let's create a solution, solution test question. Why, you know, asking the deep questions, the answer is why not? Very simple. So this here is the URL we want to append it to. So then let's go uh, solutions plus, and then we get the solution ID, right? Very simple. And then we finally want to finish this out. So let's go paste plus brackets fl space val uh, equals slash. Um, this is the, the, the header row. So let's go uh, solutions um, slash. But I forgot a, I go solution blah. Uh, link equals slash this. And then I'm going to plus URL to redirect to plus. So we're saying the link is equal to this URL now. Um, go slash. So now it's within a link. Um, and then we are going to go. Uh, left right bracket and end the quote and then plus now we want to we want to say what the the uh, like what the thing it, it is so if man words if i go to the account if i would go to the account there we go <laughs> And I go to Ether Test Company, right? This is clickable, but this is actually the name of the record. So we want to get the name of the record in here. So let's go plus um, zoho.crm.get record by ID. And we are grabbing the solutions. Solutions. If I could find it. Oh man. Solutions. And we are getting the solution ID. And then dot get, and it's probably gonna be name. Um, and let's just double check that one. Go to API names. Solutions. Name. 
Um, it's not called name. It is called solution title. Copy. Paste. And we're gonna go plus bracket left FL right. Right. So now we have a, a, a row or a column that says it's a solution and it's a clickable link and it's going to be named after the solution title. So now let's finish this row out. Go copy this, copy plus quote left thing uh, row. And then we want to also have this one, record. So now I can go copy this and put it here, save and execute. And in theory, if I grab this uh, particular test solution, oh, that won't work. I will need to put this, copy this test solution, put it in solution five, update, copy this. Paste here. This is the um, account ID. If I save and execute, boom. So let me click save now. Customer related list name, um, related solution five. And now, when I refresh my page here, and if I go down to related solution five, I've got my test right here. Blind link is true, true slash uh, URL equals slash this. There we go. So you need to say it is a link. And that is true. Or uh, so the link is it, it is a link, and here's the URL. So now if I run this, uh, let me just save. And as you can see in the related solution five, I can click this and it's gonna go right through to that um, that re uh, related record. Now on the other end. Right, you have a similar problem because if it's a lookup list, you should be able to see on the thing it's looking up all the records attached to it. So the the the, the method to do this is still the same. So let's go and add a related list. I can't add another related list, so I'll probably cut that out. But the method on the other end is still the same. You're just going to search for records. In, in my case, it's solutions on the account level. So search for accounts where that field is equal to the ID. I hope this is helpful. I'll see you in the next episode.